Welcome back to AutoCraft, where we just killed 64 withers. Uh, yeah, we're doing the cheating method because I have already killed the wither multiple times the regular way. So, uh, yeah, we're just uh, over here spawning a bunch of withers. We still have 64 more to kill. And then, uh, yeah, our little iron golem friends are helping us out. All right, I'll show you one. I'll show you one before we go. Um, it is loud, so I might have to turn down the bad mobs. Uh, hostile creatures. It's really quick, honestly, how how fast it is with the iron golems. It works, son. And just like that, we killed another one. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm gonna go do this 63 more times, and then uh, yeah, we'll get into what we're doing today. Autocraft season two. Finally, we're done. And now we just gotta clean up our mess. We don't wanna leave Rustic a nice big mess in the in the end. I hope one of these golems doesn't smack me because I accidentally hit one of them earlier. But yeah, we'll just uh, clean this up real nice for Rustic so that way he doesn't even know that we were here. And let's go ahead and put everything away. Beautiful, beautiful, bye. So the primary goal of today is going to be focused on the shopping district, which is why I was just killing a ton of withers because I obviously am going to sell beacons and I wanted to be able to have a nice little stockpile for when we're selling them. So I've designed the shop, uh, we're gonna do that. I think we're also going to end up meeting, with, meeting up with Alex again this week. Uh, we were supposed to build the Blackstone shop last week, but I kind of convinced him to help me with the Wither farm instead, or Wither skeleton farm instead. So let me go sleep real quick. We'll make a few beacons, and then we'll kind of get into what we're doing, or we'll get into the actual episode. Oh, good morning. All right, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stacks of glass. I need this. And I need this. And if I did everything correctly, that should give us two stacks of beacons. Fantastic. So yeah, that's uh, perfect for what we're gonna be doing a little bit later. Uh, let's go ahead and put my actual beacon away. That's not where it goes. Smite sword goes away. Got to stay organized in this game. If you don't have organization, you don't have anything. Speaking of which, I need to clear out my uh, ender chest. It's getting a little bit backed up here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and throw in some of these. Beautiful. Okay, let's go to the shopping district because there's a couple things that we need to look at. So, first off, I mentioned it right at the very end of the video on oh h helicopter um at the very end of the video last episode but zame built this fantastic looking fountain here as kind of the centerpiece to the shopping district it is not a shop um, it's just a centerpiece just so that there's not a big empty space and then underneath it is the end end portals that's incorrect underneath it is the nether portals um, I also mentioned the Giant 7, which we are going to go ahead and sign up for right now because I told Rustic that I would. And I said it in the last episode that we would start here. So basically, uh, welcome to the 7. Pay three diamonds. I'll come to your house. Change seven things. If you guess the seven things, you get the resources. So I know that this was Alex. Um, we're always down to play some games. So I'm going to go ahead and do it as well. And I'll just put mine down here. So he said to DM him, so I will DM him, let him know that I paid the three diamonds as well. I think it's kind of going to go in order. So if Alex gets it right, um, obviously he will get paid out before I do. So the next thing that we're going to talk about here in the shopping district is the bookstore. So I've been kind of collecting diamonds as I went, and it looks like somebody came through and bought a whole bunch more books since the last time that I collected it. But you can see down here that we have a good amount of diamonds that neither of us have actually used yet. 
So I'm going to just leave those there for now. It's nice to have a little rainy day fund. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the primary stuff I wanted to show off in the shopping district. I don't think there's anything else crazy that I haven't mentioned. Uh, we've seen the two guardian shops. We got the pyramid and the koi pond. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really think there's anything else brand new yet. There's going to be a new shop today. And honestly, I actually might even build a beacon shop today as well. So there may be two shops instead of one being built in today's episode. But for now, I need to go get all of my materials gathered for the beacon shop because that is the primary goal today. And then I also think we'll meet up with Alex. Not 100% sure if that's in today's episode or if we're going to do that next weekend. So either way, I'll bring you back here shortly once I have something to show of my time. So I started collecting all the material, or actually technically I finished collecting all of the materials that I need for the build that we're going to do for the beacon shop. So in that same amount of time, Alex reached out and said that he has gathered all of the materials for the Blackstone shop and he wants to meet up now. You can see that he's online, so we're going to go meet up with him and it looks like we're building the Blackstone shop first. So I'll bring you back once I'm with Alex. Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Boss. Thanks for the... Uh... Oh. Sorry, excuse me. I just need to take a quick dip. Thanks for the interruption. I was yeah. gathering some materials and then uh, got your little message. Yeah, I gathered some materials too. You want to see? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so uh, I was told by you that you had a plan for a shop or a design and uh, you sent me a materials list and this is it. This is all the stuff for the stuff or for the thing. Look at all these materials. Uh -huh. Look at all that black stone. Well, that looks basalt. fantastic. Um, yeah, okay, man. well, let's talk a little bit about the shop. So we've talked about this, like, what, nine weeks ago at this point? It's been a while. Yep, we actually <laughs> talked about it on one of our episodes, so it's definitely been talked about. Uh, people should know, but if anyone forgot, we are building a Blackstone shop. Yeah, so we're going to uh, yeah. claim this little outcrop of this island, which seems like a really mm -hmm. good fitting place for this. Plus, it all the shops are kind of bunched up right now, so I'm trying to get people to expand the shopping district a little bit the southern expansion as i deemed it and uh yeah so this is the southern part of the area here it is separated by a little river but we'll do some kind of bridge and you know be inviting and have people come to our blackstone shop perfect well i think we should just get right into the time lapse of the build hey man perfect let's do it Boss, we did it. We built another shop here on the Autocraft server. Let's show it off to the fans. Yep. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. There it is. I mean, they already saw it in the time lapse, but there it is. And my favorite part, I got to say, is the axe on top. Yeah. Let's do a little quick fly around so we can see the, the axe sticking out. Look it at that. It just looks so good. There's a few and dangerous it's fitting for around. the name. Yeah. The Gilded Axe. The Gilded Axe. Speaking of which, yep. we need to color this text. Oh, and I'm going to throw some glow ink. There we go. Now we can see it from far Ooh, away. Probably and... make it yellow. Oh, yeah. Let's do yellow. We'll, we'll do that in a second. Um, there's some bad guys. Yeah. Um, let's just come inside. And I have a inaugural disc to play. You, you ready? Yep. There, okay. And... Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Perfect. Okay. So it's very loud. I'm gonna back away from it a little bit. <laughs> it is very loud. It's so loud. All right. I gotta stop back, guys. Stop back. Okay. 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 Anyway. Uh. So we're gonna have this automatically play when we walk in. So I'll probably do some like trap doors here or something. You walk in. Music plays automatically, and then that way it has like theme music into the shop. And uh, I guess it will be open for business from here on out. Yeah. We need to re uh, fill it up real quick. Let's before we. And we should talk about what we're selling. So primary uh, selling or primary goods being sold are is Blackstone. Uh, yep. Then we're also going to sell some gold by the ingot, not by the block. 
Um, and then uh, Alex has decided that we are also going to sell some gilded blackstone. Yeah, just a little bit. It's hard to get. Uh, it's a cool block, and if anybody wants a little bit of it here and there, they'll have a, an option to do so. Speaking of the gilded blackstone, um, if you didn't notice from the build, if you stand back and look at it, it is designed off of a gilded blackstone block. Yeah, it's like a cool, like miniature, re or not miniature, um, a blown up replica. Watch out, Alex. Ah, you just shot me in the back. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I don't have pants on. Wizards don't wear pants. Gosh, he said, "Watch out!" It shoots me in the back immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let these mobs come after you. I'm gonna go sleep. Yeah, you go it's sleep. Drive you nuts. No, just, just, yep. There we go. Okay. Don't worry, I'm doing all the work over here, just like always. Anyway, uh, I got to talk about the shop. Boss did design this whole thing. It looks awesome. The axe, like I said, is my favorite part. The gilded axe is open for business. There's a bunch of miniature mobs running around. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Come here for all your blackstone needs. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. It's open. Look at all that. There's so many. I was just watching those little zombies just <laughs> cruising after you. All right. I'm actually leaving. All right, boss. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, that was fun working with Alex on the Blackstone shop. Uh, it looks fantastic over there. We will probably go take a look one more time at it uh, closer to the end of the episode. Um, Alex has some work to do. He wants to build a bridge and do all that kind of fun stuff. But in the meantime, I have been trying to beautify one of our main areas, right? So I've spent some time adding some paths and trees and some moss and all of that around here. So that's what I've been doing, and it's been... Uh, quite a fun time um, I'm really anal about things so like I, I don't like when you can see the uh, slabs underneath or, or like dirt underneath the slabs so I have to do basically double slabs every time and then rustic just learned me a trick that I wasn't aware of you can now path block dirt since when has that been in the game so anyways this is what I've been doing and see how you can see now the top of that slab if it's dirt or stone or anything else, it just drives me nuts. So I've been having to do basically double the work anytime that I play slabs. And yeah, that's uh, what I've been doing. So let's connect this path up. And then I think that that's all I'm going to do for now. Um, we got a good amount of paths around this area. Mechanic is over here. Alex uh, is not really connected, but he hasn't been connected. And I don't know where technically his main entrance is I think it's down there so I'm not gonna take the path down there if he wants to do that or somebody else wants to do that feel free but yeah I just this area was looking a little bit rough uh, it still sometimes is I'm trying to kind of fill in some as I go and yeah it's just a lot so I'm doing this and then we will I promise you I'll bring you back and we'll work on the other shop but I wanted to take a break from bu building shops right away and uh, yeah Let's get this complete and see what it looks like. All right, I have yet to see this from far away, so let's check it out. Yeah, it looks a lot better. I think it might still take down a couple trees. I think there's still slightly too many. Like, maybe that one needs to go. And honestly, maybe that one right there. I don't know. I'll let other people decide. Uh, I'm not the only one in charge of building and maintaining public areas but it was driving me nuts with the weird like watering hole that we had sitting here in the middle and the little partial crops and so I came around and I spammed bone meal to spread the moss and then it looked like it was way too much it was driving me nuts like that so I came in and had to clear up some and yeah make it a little bit more elegant add some pathways so now yeah I'm, I'm kind of happy with how it looks so we're going to leave that for now, though, because we are done. The next piece that we need to get into is I need to get Alex a little something for helping me out with the Wither Skeleton Farm. So I figured what better to give him than maybe a few beacons, right? So let's go ahead and give him 10 beacons. And then I also went to the farm earlier and collected some more skulls. So I'm going to give him enough to make five more beacons. I know he already has a few skulls on him, so if he wants to do multiple, that's totally fine. And we are just going to go leave this in his starter base so that he will eventually see it. So let's go over here to his little hobbit hole. 
And I'm wondering if I could do like a T, Y. Yeah, let's do that. T, Y. Thank you. Period. And then we'll just uh, maybe fill in the rest of this with some skulls for him. I have one skull too many. But he has to have them in uh, multiples of three. So we'll just put this one up here for him. So yeah, there we go. A little thank you present for Alex for helping me out with the Wither Skeleton Farm. Um, and then we still haven't really talked about kind of the de the details on it. But basically, I think I'm just going to do half price beacons for as long as I sell them. Or if he wants to fight the Withers himself, he can always go to the farm and gather the skulls. So, And that's free. I'm not going to charge him for that. He helped build it. So that would be silly. So speaking of the beacon shop, we have gathered all of the materials that we need to get this built. Um, I have picked a spot and I've started digging because there's a part of the shop that will be underground or at least in the ground, I guess, not underground. But yeah, I've started digging here. So I actually probably am going to continue this before we actually jump into the actual time lapse of the build um, because this needs to go down quite a bit more. All right, so we have our little hole dug. Um, it doesn't look very spectacular right now. Don't worry about it. It's going to get a little bit prettier. Um, and then we have this little cage here. And the goal is we are going to bring, we are, uh, Clumsy's over here. He's going to help me with this task because I don't want to do it by myself. Um, but we are going to bring three wither skeletons and we are going to put them in this cage. So I appreciate that Clumsy has offered to help me. Let's hope that this goes down without a hitch. And uh, yeah, let me bring Clumsy in. All right, Clumsy, are you ready to go wrangle some wither skeletons? I, uh, I've never been more ready to do anything in my life. We've set up the nether portal. We've tested it twice. It works. We just need to get them in the nether side of that portal without dying. Well, uh, you've got your expectations high, I'll tell you that. But uh, <laughs> right, yeah, we, we got this. Let me just really quickly grab the name tags because we're going to need them named. And I'll let you name them since you're helping me. Oh no, I think I spelled it wrong. Help me. That's right. We Is can this right? Rename it if we need to. Yes, it's wrong. All right. Here is a name tag for you. I'll carry the other two. Doesn't matter to me who names them. We just need to get them named so that they don't despawn when they walk through the portal. Okay. All right. This is gonna be fun. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Get up in there. Yeah, there's oh, no lava okay. underneath us either, so it isn't boring. There's a blaze. Hold on. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, How no. did I get lit on fire? <laughs> Gosh dang it. Oh, it's definitely not safe. I already hit you. Okay, now it's safe. Not not safe, quite. Or not ah, safe. Ah, you lied! Alright, so I think we should now? definitely do this one at a time. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. Um... Do you want to get his attention and then I will name tag him? Uh, yeah, that sounds like sounds like a pretty easy way of doing it. Got him, got him, go. Run, run, run. Uh, I just started walking. Oh, wait, can I just walk? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's slow. I thought I would have to, like, All right, he's following, run. he's following. He shouldn't take full damage here, right? Oh, he took a little he bit, is that alright? a tiny right? bit, that's fine. Okay. Right, now just follow me. Okay, and then I'm gonna get in front of you. <laughs> this is so scary. Because I gotta go through the portal, and I gotta make sure he falls into the thing properly. Oh, I'm getting a bit ahead of him. Which one was it? It was the shopping, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you can crouch walk underneath this. Wither Skeleton can't. 
So crouch walk underneath the little thing that I just built. And then just go behind the portal. And then he should walk right through. And then I'm here. Ah. Do we come through? Or? He's in. No, we're good. I'm going to come to you. I just got to do it okay. without falling in there with him. This was quite easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, okay. Would you like diamonds, wither skeleton heads, or a beacon for your troubles? Ooh. Uh, I like the sound of the beacon. That's all right. Oh, look at it. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you for helping me. Even though yes, one this of these felt... guys is an idiot. <laughs> this felt a lot easier than I, I felt like it should have been. Yeah, now I just gotta build the entire shop. Oh, well, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, it'll take a little while, but uh, expect a shop here before the end of today. I, I, look, I look forward to it. All right, thanks for your help, Clumsy. Here is two more things of milk, a leather, seven rotten flesh, three cooked pork chops. There you go. Good trade. I didn't even want the beacon. I just wanted the milk. <laughs> well, bye. All right, well, now the hard part's done. Let's go ahead and get into the time lapse where we will build the beacon shop. Hope that you guys enjoy. What a beauty. That took a, a pretty quick amount of time to build actually, uh, which is crazy because that took me forever to design in creative. But I wanted kind of the feel that a crane was pulling some wither skeletons out of the nether. And hopefully that's what you get from this because if I land on top and take a peek down, you can see I have a little nether portal in the ground Pulling the wither skeletons out using a crane. Two of them have shields and diamond swords. The other one won't pick up anything. And I don't know why. It's driving me nuts. But anyways, maybe we'll just uh, leave that one derpy. Anyways, this is kind of the, the shop idea that I had. I hope that you like it. Let me know in the description which one you like better. This one or the Blackstone shop. Um, both of them designed by me. So I like both of them, but yeah. This is definitely an episode in the shopping district. So let's take a look really quick at what's for sale. So uh, obviously beacons, we talked about that, but also uh, wither skeleton skulls. So it's two diamond blocks for a beacon or one diamond block for the uh, wither skeleton skulls to kill the wither yourself. Now I feel like uh, as early as it is and with the lack of beacons that we have on the server currently, that's actually a pretty decent price. All right, now there's one last thing that we need to do before we can call this shop complete. And that is making the path extend from the current paths to the shop. And hopefully one day all this pathing will be different. But for now, we're going to leave it like that. So we have now created the path that leads all the way to the beacon shop. Um, I'm not sure I like how that turned out. So I'm just going to adjust a little bit. So again, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we built two shops today, the Blackstone, Gilded Axe, and the Beacon Shop, uh, which I don't really have a name for. Maybe I'll call it Beacon Crane, or uh, maybe if you have any ideas, you can comment it, and we can name the Beacon Crane. So yeah, we're gonna leave it there. I appreciate you watching, and I hope that you enjoyed the Dual Shop episode. 
We'll catch you guys on next week's episode. Bye.